I think these are all the machines that Thomas has not had a chance to run yet. There's a couple of exceptions that aren't being shown, well, for various reasons. But, looks like we have six stick vacs, one upright, one robot vacuum, and two hand vacs, plus whatever he's bringing up with him. Welcome to Mini Meet number 23, featuring Thomas Rechtenwald and his stuff. So, it's kind of hot out here and a little sweaty, so if we end up swatting away bugs, uh, that's what you'd normally see. Anyway, we have this, what, what machine is this? It's this is called a Dirt Devil Feather Light Vision. Ah, okay, so here's the, here's the tag here, it's upside down, because it has a problem. See? That one's in good shape. That one's kind of gone, because Bill. it's over there. So we're going to take some JB Weld and uh well glob it in there and then let it sit overnight and then he's gonna he's gonna pray that it works because that's about the only thing you can do with this machine i was sorry to interrupt you a minute. no go ahead <laughs> um bill has the same model except it's newer it don't have the swabble swivel yeah yeah it don't it don't have the swivel. little the little swivel casters it don't yep. have the swivel casters, but his has he has a red one that takes the same f1 filter Yep, yep, and that's right. It's a it's just essentially a newer model, but it's the same general twelve amp motor, lightweight upright. You sure. get the idea. Now you were telling me that the brush roll, when you got this thing, I don't know, months ago, weeks ago, whatever it was, yeah. the bristles were worn like all the way down to the nubs. Yeah, so you had to go down to the wood. That, and I, how do you do that? <laughs> well like you know, uh, some people like don't pay attention what they run over. When you run over like vent grates a lot and stuff, and it eats away at your bristle. When you hear, <laughs> don't run over grates. So he's got a new one in there. It looks pretty good, but this, uh, yeah, this is this is a problem. So I'm gonna mix up some JB Weld or what's left of it and see if we can't make some some magic happen. Don't know if it's gonna work or not. Okay, well there it is. A terrible job it's really busted up pretty badly though so probably need to just put more jb weld in there but that's the way it's going to be so we're going to let that set up for 24 hours and who knows how long that's going to last all right so we made it back into the nice cool basement where it's 66 degrees rather than like 96 degrees so here very is humid, very yeah. humid very hot it's yep. just it needs to come. October needs to come. I'm October. a summer person. Mm -hmm. I hate snow. I hate ice. This needs to go. Like, He's got we fat people. We fat people yeah. don't do well. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like, I got a crater on my face right here. I'm broke out from sweating so much. And oh. it's just, mm -hmm. He's got all these machines. To, to try. Oh, so like this a, is what like, he's missed since the last mini meet. It's like a, a horde of stick backs yeah. exploded. And then you got the brand spanking new curb toss hoover that yeah 2020 so i just throw it out for nothing yeah people i don't are, know people yeah. are crazy i don't know that the, the bin was full but the thing is the bin wasn't full so <laughs> and you got my first robot back the the goovy and then a couple little handbags this is actually, actually the, that's my very first robot vacuum i have ever seen in person Huh? Okay. Yep. All right. So Let's go ahead and, and do whatever. Now you can, you know, move out of the way, whatever it is, but you could probably go back and forth. And he's already broken in five seconds. Later. Yep. Oop. Some of them, the wands extend hey, I have in, a, in a way that you understand. In some cases, it, it extends like in an inverse way. I have to learn these things. Yep. Yep. All right. This is the one of the Musu. Yes. This is the Musu. Moo. Moo, Sue. Okay, uh, power Let's button. See. How do we turn it on? Oh, look. There we go. Oh, it's so flat. Yep, it is. This must be low power because this is so easy to push. Yep. So feel free to cycle through the speeds. There we go. No, really not much of a difference. I don't feel nothing. Yeah. It's, like, it's not even my wrist. Light weight on the wrist. Yeah. Okay, there's just two. Low and high. Yeah, low and high on this one. No, 
Now when you're done, go ahead and collapse it, and then I'll just put it behind me to get it out of the way. Okay. Okay, so I'll take that one. You'll take that with you. And then move on to the next one. The next move. Move to the back part of the lab here. Okay. This one, um, it's got a better grip than that one, I think. Mm-hmm. More better grip. Let's try with More or better -er like a better grip of vacuum rods. That one was like a little bit, this one like you can really grip it. Like it's like gonna slip out of your hand. All right. So let's try the power. I like the sound of this one better. Yeah, it growls a little bit. It's got a little more of a traditional vacuum sound. Mm -hmm. um, still, he's relatively easy to push. Okay. A little bit heavier in the wrist, but. Yeah. Nothing that I would complain about. Now, you think you know where to go and hit the high power button at? You know, to raise the power? I gotta learn these things. Oh, there you go. Who knows where that power button is? They put them everywhere. Mm, no difference. Yep. I can run this on five all day. <laughs> and the battery won't last all day. Yeah. Not battery, on high. If the battery yep. lasts all day, I can clean. Vacuum, mm -hmm. just yep. clean, clean, clean. I mean, you just, I'll be cleaning under everything. Yep. Yeah. Just love it, huh? Uh-huh, that's it. So far, I'm liking them. Okay, liking, all right. I like the red and black one. I like this sure. blue, white, and black. Yeah, I think that one is the S2. Yeah. Although they're not big on, like, putting model numbers on these things. Some of them, it's even difficult to tell what the brand is in some cases. Yeah. They're, they're not, you know, like super proud of their brand. All right. Oh, oops. All right, it's all right. Okay, now this one, oh, did it again. <laughs> that one you, you can't extend. It, it's a fixed wand length. Yeah. Take this back. Take this back, all right. Nah. I like the, it's not long enough for me. That's, yeah, you know, for real I'm tall like, people. I'm, like, I'm kind of like... Yeah. So some people have to have the extra length because they're tall. Well, we'll give it a shot anyway. All right. This one's push trigger. Yeah. Okay. So does that one feel any different than the other two? Like maybe it's a it, little bit lighter. It's really no different than those. I'm just this fixed, this fixed length. I'm just not getting. Okay, so it's it's not long it's enough for tall. you. Yep. I'm just too tall for this. All right. and I need more light. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and do the power. Yep. I think that's medium. That's high. It starts off on medium. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's default. So far, all these stick backs are pushability. Great. But this fixed length, I don't, yeah. I don't like that. Whatever. Yep. All low, just. Yeah. Just a little along. Like a little kitten. I like it. Don't like this. Alright, so yeah, that's that's unfortunately a problem. If you really need the extra length, Talk then people. you gotta get something with the adjustable wand. Give that to a kid and tell them about you. Know? Sure. Or a shorter person like yeah. like me. Oh hell hello. Yeah. This is heavy. Okay. This one is heavy. Yeah. That is the Zoker. This one is heavy on the wrist. Okay. Aha. Aha. We figured out how to turn it on. This is it really, it's a little bit heavy on the wrist, but it's not too bad. I mean, just. I could live with it, but it is heavier. But, I'm, sometimes heavier is better. A little bit of handle weight can help you maneuver the vacuum better. And again, your arm starts cramping up and you gotta take a break. Yeah. Let's see if you can figure out. There you go. Hey, we got it. Here's high power. This right. one suction cups a little bit. Yep, some do. More than others. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Now, previously when you were here, you ran the white Dream Tech. Yeah. So we won't run that again because you can see that on the previous Mini Meat. Probably won't. Yep. Mm hmm. It's not my favorite, but it, I mean, it, yep. if I had this on, only to use this, that would it'd be okay. All right. It's not my favorite, though. Okay. So far, I'm leaning towards the white moose. The white there. one, okay. That's, yeah. that's that's the S2. That's the one that's, that's right there. All right. This one, I can tell you right now, fixed length, yep. I don't like this. I don't like this angle on my wrist. This is a... Uh, Okay. This right here would make my wrist hurt. Yeah. That's but, a, that's another musu. Uh, trigger. Yeah, I'm not liking the like the fixed length. Yeah. No, nope. I don't do the fixed lengths. I like the. I mean, if you're paying this much for a vacuum. Why would they select the length for you? That one is a super budget vacuum. Well, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. so I'll give this one a break. All right. Let's go higher. Ooh, found the high switch. Suction, cool. I can feel the suction more. Yep. And I think this is high. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Nope. It's off. That's off, yeah. So you have, well, off, and then, of course, low and high. Low and high, yeah. Yep, that's it. Yeah, I mean, I'll give this one, I'll, I'll give this one a break. It's yeah. budget-friendly. Yes, it's very budget-friendly. So, you make the cut. Yeah. But, if I had to choose, if I could pick any one. Yeah. So far, the white moose there. Okay. And I think this is the, oh, is this cut? No? Pretty, this one? Pretty care. Pretty care. That's right. Pretty care. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a buzz in it. A little bit of a rattle. It, yeah, I know. It's, it, it did that uh, in the Mrs. Vac Lab video. Okay, so yeah. you say this is your current. So here, yeah. check them both out at the same time. <laughs> I don't have to. This yeah. one wins. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the pitch on this one. Right. Mm -mm. Okay. I'm, like, I'm not a person that likes real super loud vacuums. Right. And his purple sharks wherever they are around here there's one yeah there's one there's one that's over one there too my, that's one of my downfalls in shark they're really loud yeah but this one right here yeah go ahead and run it again and confirm your choice yep you like that so that one's your favorite yep yeah. this one is my favorite it sounds like an actual vacuum it's not heavy on the wrist it's not suction cupping Easy to push, easy to maneuver. I could vacuum my whole house. I'd be cleaning everything. So yeah. Now with that being said, I'm taking this home with me. I'll see you later. <laughs> well, I'm glad you found one you like. Okay, I'll take I'll take that one, and then go ahead and move on to whatever suits your fancy. Well. Can't really do much with this except clean my car out. And, right. Uh, so you can just. I'll just build a suction. Oh sure. Okay. Listen to it. Now that one's got two speeds. For a little, for a little guy, it's. Yeah. Yeah. That would get the job done just for what it is. I mean, it's just a, it's a itty bitty. Yeah, it's a little handbag, sure. It's a little, itty bitty little, guy. little portable handbag. Itty bitty guy. We'll, now, send, we'll send him up here. Okay, all right. We'll send him up there. I don't so, want to step on one. Now, that great. guy, you remember what was weird about that thing? What can that thing do that. Pick up water. Yes. So, this is like a little mini rainbow. Okay, all right. You can do that. 
Sure. That only has one speed. Yeah. It's got more suction than that one. Yeah, that's up there. I like this one, I think, better. I just like the feel of it. Okay, you think like... it handles better? Well, here, go ahead and grab both of them. Ch check them both out at the same time. Not, I don't like vacuums, and that was a problem with some of the stick backs. Ones where you have to handle, hold it like this. It's like an L shape. You have to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's awkward, like... really bends your wrist. Yeah, yeah look at that. Like ones where... <coughs> it's like that. Yeah, there you go. I, I, that's right. The, the handle angle is definitely different with that. You will wear your wrist out with this. It's, if this, I mean... If you bought this just for easy pickup, and we get the job done. Yeah. I mean, I'm not over here like bashing them or nothing like that. It's just my preference, you know? So, Apposen versus Gimo, or maybe, maybe right Gimo. There. So, in the, the Gimo or Gimo wins. I can tell you right now, not even using this, I like the looks of this blue Hoover. Yeah. It has a, it's, I know how much these machines cost. This is probably like a hundred and... $20 machine and it's um it's out of the way so you have some have some real vacuuming room here yeah we'll use him last yeah. um I actually um well I'm familiar with these movers and I actually enjoy them they're not like the best vacuum on the market but you mean $120 doesn't buy you the best vacuum on the market <laughs> you can go something like a Kirby or something, whatever tickles your fancy. But Hoover's been around for many, many years. Yeah. And it smells new still. <laughs> smells new. <laughs> Still have that new box smell. Mm, new plastic smell. Yum. Yeah, but it's easy to push. Yeah. I'm gonna try to go one click down. Yeah, go ahead and try that, and let's see if the belt slips or it, it just kind of slows slows it down a bit. Yeah, you can hear it slowing down. A little bit. But you know what? On position three, I'm having no problems. Yeah. yeah I, I hope you all viewers hear that that it really slows yeah, the brush roll that. down oh. yeah and I put the new belt in it so however I've had this problem with my Kirby's before when you polish them spindles and they get real slick mm -hmm. they can let the belt slip I've so you say I should I should dirty them up well, I can go and scratch them back up with sandpaper, you know, make them uh, make them real rough uh, and grippy. I'll do, I'll do that, but. Or I could do that to the brush roll too. I could actually go and on that kind of like knurled knob part where the belt rides, I could go and make it um, not so shiny, I suppose. You know, you don't want your you don't want it to be like real chunky and scratch your belts and tear them up. But I've I've polished spindles on Kirby's and I would run them. And the belt would slip, but the, I had no burning smell. I, just, yeah. I noticed my brush roll wasn't spinning. Yeah. And just when you get them real slick like that, they just kind of, it's like a, it's like putting your foot on wet cement with soap on it. You just mm. want to zing. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah. Yeah, so you like that. So, pretty good for a freebie. And I put in a, <coughs> an optional belt. Yeah. It smells even brand new still. It just needs yeah. a clean link. Yeah, I know. Amazing. So, whatever. Thanks for the vacuum, people. <laughs> we'll be sure to take care of it and we'll use it yeah. properly and maintain it. And what I like, this is what I like too. Yeah, it like. is. Works. Fantastic. So, la dee da with that one. La dee da. And uh, let me see, can I see that from here? Um, well, I got a lot of other vacuums back here. I'll, uh, it's going to be a little a dark. One. So here's the red one. All right. Anybody it's got a few different attachments. Maybe he'll give me one of them. <laughs> for being a friend. Okay. 
So now we have the Goovy. So grab it and actually on the carpet, turn it upside down because you have to turn it on. There you go. So there is an on toggle button. Doo -doo. Okay, go ahead and flip her over. Very soft. Yep. Bristles. Uh-huh. That's it. Okay, so um, I wouldn't recommend hitting the auto only because it's just going to go everywhere. So go ahead and use the buttons on the remote. But as I found out, this really doesn't like going backwards. So go ahead and just go forward, left, and right. And I'll let you figure out um, how to drive. So be a little different. And you can go ahead and just, there you go. He's driving it. He's driving it. No license required. Oh, there it goes. Now, it does have bumpers and stuff, so if it hits something, it'll go bonk, and then, you know, I mean, you can put your foot in front of it, and it'll bonk, and then do something. There you go. They don't turn when I want it to turn, though. I push the button, it's like... Yep, you're making it. Something to play with. Yep. Yeah, I guess you're bored on a Saturday night. Drive your robot vacuum. Make make some weird robot lines, you know. Uh, maybe spell some, you know, letters, or word, or whatever it is. There you go. There's your Saturday night entertainment, people. Hey, you need another Pepsi or a can of Coke? You just sit it right there, right in the kitchen. There you go. Say, wife hmm. or husband, whichever one. Hmm. Can I get, can you give me another Coke, please? Yeah, get another Coke. You send the vacuum in with mm -hmm. the old one. <laughs> the old can say I need another one and you just have to run back to you or you want a snack now you know what I found out with this in one of my latest videos that when you went and just pushed the auto button it didn't really end it doesn't seem to have a way of detecting you know when I don't know the bins full or it's clean or whatever yeah, whatever way like you'd have it detect say I'm done I Nowadays. Yeah, I know. It's they can empty their bins. Oh, they yeah. They recharge. They back themselves up into the plug. Oh, yeah. So this one does that. But um, I, I guess I was a little frustrated with, I think it just runs until the battery gets low, and then it probably returns to base, you know, whatever that is. See, my thing with robot vacuums is, and this is what I've always said, they... <laughs> no, not big enough. No, you know, it's, I just don't. I don't. Yeah. I would not have one. I just. I mean, I don't like them. Yeah. I mean, sorry, I'm the one who I clean the carpet. I'm in control. Not you. You heard it first from one Thomas yeah. Reckonwald. Let yeah. me go grab the base, and I can have you push the magic return to base button, and we can watch it do its thing. Okay. Okay, now I've rearranged the Goovy. Here's the base, but you know what I haven't done? I've never started it away from the base, so I don't think it knows where the base is, but let's test that theory. So go ahead and point the remote at it and push the, yeah, upper right um, home button, I think. Looks, looks like a little home. So let's see if it finds it, even though it didn't start from it. I think it found it. Come on, little guy. Yep. You're in the right direction. I mean, don't get me. They're coming. It's like a Pokemon or something. I don't <laughs> Remember, a robot vacuum is like a Pokemon. Hey. And there we go. Okay, so it found it, even though it didn't start from it. So something I hadn't had a chance to test until Thomas came along. Now, you'll notice that he's got his old shark vacuum here to test. So let me move this so he can run the refurb version with the new motor. Yeah, so just as a reminder, when Thomas called, and you got some actual good support. When Thomas called Shark, they said, yes, we know that motors blow up because, you know, in this case, it was a carbon brush failure. So they sent him this brand new one in the box. So I've got a lot of videos of this new white shark. So let me get this out of the way. And he can run his former old 
shark powered lift away. Now he didn't have front wheels on it, but there's some wheels on it now. I love it actually. <laughs> it's just um, going forward, it goes by itself. Pulling back has got a little bit of. It's just. I used it uh, Wednesday for my vacuuming session. So I just used it recently. Boy, look at those lines. Of course, you've got the suction control set to set to max. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's the only way to deep clean. Yep. In my opinion. So you don't think it's too hard to push? You think it's good like that? Yeah, it don't bother me. Okay. No, I'll go just for giggles. Oh, that turns off. Forgot. Oh, okay, well that's well, that's all the way open. Oh, it just Yep, super easy. <laughs> but now you hear it leaking. Listen to the head. Oh, he doesn't want his brand new one. No, I want this one back. Sorry. <laughs> He's not getting it back. <laughs> well, when I, what? When I purchased it, I was wanting... I had a lift away before, but I was wanting another one. And... What happened to the previous one? Or did you give it away? Or yeah, did you I gave it to my aunt. Oh, okay. She she had she needed a vacuum really bad. Uh, I told her she could take it and stuff, but I'm gonna try to lift away. He's now lifted it away. It's harder to push in lift away mode. It's harder to maneuver and push like this. Well, how about that? Yeah. It's like it's just, it's just. Wow. So, how far would you have to open up the suction relief because to make it, I mean, reasonable? Just halfway. To be perfectly comfortable? Not right there. Just one set of vents open. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's comfortable. All right, so just a little but, bit open then. Like that there? Yeah. Well, it just changes the weight distribution then. It's not hard on the one I gave my aunt, it was very hard on the wrist. That's why I got rid of it. I would use that vacuum and I'd be exhausted. This one here, I'm just, I can vacuum all day. All right, let's put Taryn Bill's carpet out here. We're yeah. shreds. So, yeah, we, we literally are. This was perfectly clean. That is all Carpet, carpet. carpet. That's literally all my carpet. So that thing is really, really harsh, that, that brush roll. I mean, even, you know, this machine has a few years on it. It's not that old, but it's really harsh. Yeah, That's well, literally all carpet. I'm going to take that out. and. <laughs> Why don't you use um one of the hand backs and, and suck it up? Look at that. Yeah. Look, look at that blob. Here, let me... Uh, let me see it's all nice and soft. Yep. Yep, that's, that was formerly there. Knit me it's, a sweater. It's, <laughs> you could keep vacuuming your carpet and you'll have an, more stuff to create another... Well, there was fine dust in there. Something else. With it. That's, some of that's fine dust. Oh, all right. Oh, a tiny bit. But, oh, that big blob. Now, this is... A bit, oh, oh, I got sand. I got bread sand. There you go. All right. So, try... Let's see. You can try... I want my moose suit. Oh, okay. 
You want to you want to use the stick back? Yeah, I want my musu. All right, I will get the musu S2, the white one. Um, I'm backing up. I don't want to fall over them. I'm gonna rob, there you go. I'm gonna rob the back lab. He's gonna come home one day and be like, "Where's my musu and my shark?" Now, see, my favorite is actually the Kaival because it's it's very very light. That's a big blob. There it goes. Spin, it just went right up in there too. It yep, it did. It didn't get stuck yep. in the tube. And now it's right there. That's funny. I got up saying that he had from his former tests. Yeah. That's probably from him. He was testing my dirt devil. Right? That's probably yes. like from that. It was. Well, you know, some of the stuff when when you have a a brush roll that is so harsh that it literally rips the carpet out sometimes there's stuff still stuck in the fibers and well that's where it, that's where it came from yeah so ooh. so really if you love a bagless vacuum and you don't want to pay like a price of a dyson i recommend this they still sell this at target oh yeah, yeah. okay all right so yeah Moose, moose be... is a big brand name now well i wasn't talking about this i was talking about the shark oh oh the shark <laughs> I got that one well, wrong. Well, so here, though, this is a... That's like, do they sell moose if you want to, big box stores? If you want to get a stick back, I highly recommend this. Cool. So, but I'm talking about the shark. Like, for, if you want, like, a, a vacuum with a cord and you want bagless, shark has actually really grown on me lately. Yeah. Like, they pick up very well. They... Don't cost an arm and a leg, just depends on which model you get. Maintain them. You got a really good bagless vacuum. And let's not forget, you get a free one if it blows up. If it's yeah. been the warranty period and has a recall. Well, <laughs> it just depends on what model it is. Yeah. Some of them were recalled in certain years. Yeah. And that was a recalled unit. So Yep. So yeah. Um I highly recommend Musu. I highly recommend um shark not just this shark that one's a good one um yeah that's about it um that blue hoover i recommend it too if you are on a budget if you have a budget you don't want to spend you want to be in like a sub 100 category you can pick. shark yeah. hoover hoover shark you want to go a little more Musu. you want to go a little more expensive go with the shark yeah. You need something quick, just you like to vacuum quickly. Go with this. Does great on bare floors, that's yeah. for sure. Just you gotta maintain huh. vacuums, people. Yeah. That's all there is to it. Empty them out, check all the filters. Remember that uh Tinico? So that that one I did, that was a um uh, a friend of ours, family friend of ours, and yeah, the the and it was stopped completely up. Yeah, the center filter was totally utterly clogged. The bin was completely empty but the center filter in the bottom of the bin was totally utterly clogged wouldn't let any airflow at all out, people yep. take filters out wash them even bang them on a like take them outside and bang them on the railing yep anything Rain rainbows take your bin get some soap and hot water wash them if your hoses can suck up water some of the electric hoses through rainbow can some of them can't Run some water through it and suck that dirt out of your hose. You know? Before it gets smelly. Yeah, smelly We've done lots of smelly seen, ones. Well, yeah, my aunt's yeah, seen yeah. these rainbow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, you've seen some smelly ones on this channel since 2018. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, the rainbows, the E2 blue that I gave Bill, that was... Oh. Yeah. Now, the gold was mine, and I took care of it up until it went... Yeah, the, the bearing went... So it's good now. And it's been rehomed. Yeah, rehomed. So, um, <laughs> we might include some. I brought my E2 power nozzle up like I always do. Mm -hmm. and you might see something with this. That's totally up the bill. Okay. But so far, we'll probably, if he, does, if he decides to include some with this, stay tuned for it. Otherwise, it about wraps it up, I think. Okay. All right, so maybe you'll see like an outro or something using the, the modified PN12 so it works with an, an older hose. Well, I know there's a one more test you had to do with it. We didn't get the sand, the two-pass sand, but that's 
Like I said, that's yeah. totally up the bill. Okay. So. All right. Other well, that, though, this has been it's holy stickbacks. <laughs> yeah. And it's nice seeing the shark back to life. Mm-hmm. It's I love it. The Hoover was nice. It's um, you probably won't be seeing me up here for a while after this. Coronavirus is getting bad again. So. Yeah, the hospital beds are filling up, unfortunately. Yeah, we just it ain't been a good time for many meets and vacations. It's, it is what it is. Yeah. Now, see, Thomas is from West Virginia, mm-hmm. and this vac lab that is where my basement is located is Ohio. So we're not too far away. About two hours, a little yeah. over two hours. Yeah. But it's worth the trip. It gives me a chance to get out of town and you know have friends out of state that I can visit, which. I even got my mom up here this time. She's at our, our hotel room. Oh, fantastic. Well, thanks so much for watching. And thank everyone thank Thomas for coming up and always uh, you know, bringing up some interesting machines. And, of course, it's great that he can come up and try out a bunch of machines that, I mean, he wouldn't normally come across. So we're going to end it here for this version of the mini-meet. Yeah. Yep. So. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Goodbye. Bye-bye.